Parents holding their kids a little tighter and a little longer these days. Oh gosh, I'm so glad that I have so many opportunities to tell them I love you. I'm so glad you're mine. I'm so glad that you're in our family. I'm so glad that um, you're, you're here. I'm still so glad that I'm having breakfast with you this morning. Candles, flowers, toys, and grief have filled Newtown. I keep hearing on the news over and over about the parents that went there and were able to get their kids and those that had to be told that their kids weren't going home with them. And I can't imagine that if I was in their shoes as a parent that my daughter wouldn't be coming home with me. 20 first graders, none of them older than seven, were killed in a mass shooting at school. 20-year-old Adam Lanza lived with his mother Nancy in a well-off residential neighborhood. On Friday morning, he shot and killed her with her own gun, got into a car, and drove about 10 minutes to Sandy Hook Elementary. According to witnesses, he didn't say a word during the rampage. Eight-year-old Zachary was saved by his teacher. My, my youngest son was in Sandy Hook School, and um, he was in a classroom right near where the shooting took place, and he was with a reading teacher, just him and the reading teacher and she closed the door and took him into the bathroom. They sat on the bathroom floor until the police came and said prayers and just stayed very quiet until the police came. Six school employees were also killed in the shooting, including the favorite one of Aiden and Devin. If we messed up, she would tell us to do it again, but she would like <laughs> encourage us to do better. The six and nine-year-olds held a garage sale with their family after surviving the shooting, with proceeds going to their school. They did tell them to close their eyes. My, my daughter, uh, of course, she never listens, so she, she didn't, and she's, pretty, she's been talking about that a lot. She, saw, she said, Mommy, I can't get that body out of my head. I keep seeing it. People's emotions are stretched to the limit. Make it end here. Like, make it worth something. Make it mean something. Because you can't bring it back, but you can create change. Change that heartbroken locals are now demanding. Gun control. Strict, severe gun control. That's really all it can be. It's the Second Amendment to bear arms, but that amendment was written 300 years ago, 250 years ago. Our forefathers never thought that it would come to this. While politicians don't have the power to bring back the 20 little children who used to play on these streets, they do have the power to decide what happens next in a country where 217 million firearms, almost one per person, are in private possession. Anastasia Churkina, RT, Newtown, Connecticut.